probably getting pretty close to a decision here. Yes, sir. Yeah, me and Casey, uh, we've been splitting reps. I've been going with the twos as well, and uh, we're just competing every single day. Uh, since the first day of fall camp, we've been competing with each other, and I think it's going great. Uh, me and him are helping each other out and making sure we're going through our reads, making the right plays, and uh, just when we watch film, making sure we know what, what we're looking at and what we're doing. So, But overall, I think the competition's been going pretty good. Do you, do you feel like you have to catch up based on the fact that you only played five practices? Yes, sir. Yeah, I feel like when I first started uh, fall camp, I was sort of trying to catch back up, um, trying to get like the, the pace was fast and I, I totally forgot about, about about that kind of stuff. So uh, just over the time, like yesterday, I had a pretty good practice. Um, so I think it's like my 17th practice today since I've been here. So just trying to make sure I'm catching up with the speed of the game and uh, just trying to get better every single day. Yes, sir. Yeah, whoever's the uh, starting quarterback, you know, uh, just I just want to be ready. And uh, when, when we install our game plan, just make sure I know every uh, everything in that game plan, and making sure I know where to go with the ball and be smart with the ball and uh, protect it, and uh, just be ready no matter what. If I'm first, second string, whatever, uh, just be ready uh, if my number's called. Is there anything different about the way that you think you're going to approach the start of this season in comparison to all of the other games that you've been part of? Because of Oh yeah, the last two years, you know, I was just I was dealing with injury, obviously, but I also played in some games. So, but every single game, even when I was a freshman, I've always prepared like I'm going to be the guy. I've always prepared like I'm going to get in that game, even if I haven't gotten in uh, that game. The next week, I'll prepare like I'm going to be playing. So even this year, I'm just I'm preparing the same way and uh, just always be ready. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, I've uh, been thrown with all the receivers, ones, twos, threes. I've been thrown with all of them. And uh, we're really starting to make a connection in chemistry. In the beginning of fall camp, like I said, um, I was still still trying to pick up things and make the right reads and all that kind of stuff. But now uh, I feel like I've been connecting with them pretty well. And uh, just we're getting better every single day. So. Anything about the defense strike you when you're going against that secondary, that defense in general? Yeah, that, the, our defense is really good. Um, it's I, th I always tell the offense that it's awesome that we get to go against them every single day because they, they truly are really really good. They disguise their coverages really well. Uh, the D linemen are they're great. They get on us. They pressure us. We get to step up in the pocket, move around, scramble. So I, I always tell them that it's awesome that if we're having a good practice against the defense, then you really know that we're uh, the offense is doing good. So. Oh yeah, yes sir, for sure. I uh, I've been making great relationships with my teammates uh, during the summer, hanging out with them, and really uh, even with the defensive guys, you know, messing around with them, hanging out with them, uh, just making sure I have that connection with my whole entire team, not just with the offensive side of the ball, and uh, just always being ready, just in case my na my number's called, and uh, just be ready for any kind of situation. Did you feel that in the spring also, or was that something that kind of burned through the summer? Yeah, in the in the spring, you know, I was new, so I was just. And I was hurt a lot just staying on the sideline. I was signaling plays and stuff. So I wasn't really around the guys a lot, except when I was in the locker room. But now I'm actually in it with them and practicing with them, so it's a lot better. What sort of sides do you look for? Like guys are comfortable enough to use for you to sort of come out of your leadership shell? Um, you know, like being comfortable around the guys? Yeah, just like you said that during the summer, sort of when you got comfortable, you know, being more of a leader, how can you tell when it's the right time to start doing uh, once I got healthy and uh, my foot was feeling better, so once we started running in the indoor, uh, having workouts, uh, I was around them a lot, doing everything they were doing. So when times were getting tough, you know, we're, we're speaking up to them, telling them that we're going to do it, we're going to finish it, and uh, just those kind of things. And just being around them and uh, having them see me do the work as well with them, not just standing and watching, to prove to them that I'm ready, I'm ready to go and I'm ready to work. So.
did you see a palpable difference in the just the, the vibe and the vocal leadership when he's not practicing? Yes, sir. Yeah, like today uh, we were in the we were in Memorial Stadium today. Uh, the practice was a little rough today. Um, I forget what kind of pra uh, 13th practice maybe, but uh, a lot of guys like we were we were working hard, but like coach was telling us today, we need to put that we need to have that edge to us, and we got to really dig deep. And when times get tough, we got to finish. Um, and obviously, like you said, when Turner Turner, he's been out for a little bit, but uh, Turner's been a great leader as well. He's been using his voice, and uh, we're super excited to have him back. So. Oh, no, yeah, me and my brother, I FaceTime my brother probably every night. He calls me almost every night um, talking about how he's doing with the 49ers, what's different with uh, NFL and college, and he's telling me all those kind of things. And I'm asking him questions about the game and uh, just really just talking and going over life with him. So it's been awesome. What questions you ask him? I just asked him, like, what's their schedule like? And he was telling me how college, the days are longer, actually, during camp for college. Um, but for the NFL part of it, he was just saying that uh, the mental part of it is is crazy. So, how long is your day? You're just you're going to work a day here. Um, I wake up at 6 a.m. and then I usually get home around 8 p.m. So, is that, is that, uh, how does that usually play? How does that usually feel? What do you do from here on out? Because practice. Is so hard. practice is from 8:45 to about 11, 11:30. After that. We go and get in the cold tubs and whatnot, and then sometimes we'll have Bible study at 2. We, like yesterday, we had that, so we'll go to that at 2. Special teams meeting at 2.45, but then the quarterbacks meet from 2.45 till 4 o'clock. Walk through at 4.10, and then after walk through, it hits about 5 o'clock. We go to dinner from 5.30 to 6.30, and at 6.30, we got team time. And then after that, we got meetings, and then we go home. So. And then you go right to bed. Yeah, I go right to bed, yeah. So...